This is Credit Matters, and I'm Greg Moskowitz, the Global Fixed Income Research Group. The number of global fallen angels increased by three issuers to 70 since our last report, with six additions and three removals. The financial institution sector accounts for 17 potential fallen angels, nearly 25%. 25 of the 70 potential fallen angels are based in the U.S. This preponderance partially reflects the sizable portion of U.S.-based issuers rated by Standard & Poor's. Brazil has the second most potential fallen angels at 6, followed by South Africa at 5, about 9 and 7% respectively. Potential fallen angels are issuers rated triple B- with either negative outlooks or ratings on credit watch with negative implications. An increase in the potential fallen angels count indicates that the fallen angels count may grow at an increased pace. Negative outlooks and credit watch negative placements are good leading indicators of downgrades because they are strong predictors of rating actions in the aggregate and when broken out by rating category, region, or sector. The global fallen angel count reached 18 as of April 8th compared to 15 as of March 15th. Three new additions are from the U.S., France, and Chile after their ratings were downgraded from triple B- to double B+. We define fallen angels as issuer standard and poor's rating services, downgrades to speculative grade double B plus and lower, from investment grade triple B minus and higher. Of the 18 fallen angels so far this year, the U.S. accounts for nine and four from Latin America. There are two sovereigns, the Republic of Azerbaijan and the Kingdom of Bahrain. This has been Credit Matters. Thank you for watching.